Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can replace the valve or Schrader valve on your AC system without using refrigerant. Now, say for example, your valve is leaking. As you see, there are bubbles coming out, so that means there's a leak. So we cannot just remove the valve and replace it with a new one because we will lose all our refrigerant and we do not want that. And so this is where a tool like this comes in. The way this thing works is it's just like an ordinary valve tool except that it comes inside this assembly to allow you to seal the system as you remove the valve. So say for example this is the leaking valve, you just pull this, push this in, release, okay? Make sure it is attached, it is locked. So open this valve, okay? Push this in slowly and then unscrew the Schrader valve. And more often than not, the refrigerant inside here is going to push the Schrader valve as well as this tool outwards. So in this case, this is just for illustration purposes. So there's no refrigerant inside. And we will try to pull that slowly all the way out, close this valve, undo this cup, and let's see if we've got our Schrader valve. And as you can see, the Schrader valve is there. Now just pretend we've already replaced this with a new one. Okay, screw the cup back on, open the valve, push this in, and then screw the new Schrader valve on there. Pull this out, close this, and then pull this off. And as you can see, we've got our new Schrader valve on there. So let me show you how to use this in actual application, okay? Because I really do need to replace that Schrader valve, like I've said. Pull that, make sure it's locked. Open this valve, push this in. See, it's leaking. It's already pushing that. But we need to unscrew the the Schrader valve. Now make sure while you're unscrewing this, put pressure here, okay? Because it has the tendency to push out. It's much better actually doing this with two hands, but I've got one hand on the camera, so it's it's pushing out. Hopefully that push the Schrader valve along with it. Let's undo the cup. And there's our Schrader valve. So these are new Schrader valves. This is why I always keep a few of these handy. Okay, it's cheap. I'm gonna get one. I'm going to already fit that on there. See? And put that inside there. Screw the cup back on. Okay. Now, like I've said, once we open this, it's going to apply pressure on this. Okay. See? Push it and turn. Turn, turn. Okay already screwed in just finger tight and then pull the tool out lock this and pull this out and see there's our new Schrader valve so let's check with soapy water if, if there's no more leaks and there are no air bubbles so we are successful so before we put this cover back on, blow that soapy water out and put the cover or cap back on. Now what if you do not have this? Well first you can simply try by tightening the Schrader valve some more with this valve tool and also use a pair of needle nose pliers, insert it here and pull the 
pin out okay what you intend to do is hold on let me show you this is the what we replaced okay pull the pin out because every time we push this that's going to open the valve and it's spring loaded that is going to seal by itself and at times the spring becomes weak we pull the pin outwards okay and that will help seal and prevent it from leaking but be advised okay be advised if you are for some reason successful in stopping the leak by doing what i told you like simply pulling the pin okay this is only a temporary fix a temporary remedy this is only going to buy you some time okay but you still need to replace the valve and you still need this but anyway don't worry these are cheap i bought this six or maybe seven years ago maybe more or less about a thousand pesos that's roughly about 18 dollars now you can buy this by piece but preferably you would want to buy this by pair so that whichever valve is leaking the high side or the low side you can fix it because the size is different okay the low side is smaller than the high side and as you can see inside there are rubber o-rings to prevent it from leaking but don't ask me for links okay i'm not advertising for this product but should you type no gas loss ac valve removal tool or no drain ac valve removal tool in your favorite online shopping platform i'm sure something will come up so i do believe that's it i just wanted to share this with you i hope this video can help you out i hope you like this video if you do let me know in the comments below like share and if you are new to my channel subscribe if you want to only if you want to and as always thank you for watching